Hey guys, this video is going to be my all-time favorite lip product and it's kind of a lot so I'm going to get started. So first I'm going to start off with lip balms. This uh, is fairly, I guess it's a fairly new product from Nivea. I've never bought any Nivea um, lip products besides this but this is the Nivea Milk and Honey. Um, it looks like this, it's almost gone, like this is like the top. Um, I have another one. I got this from Harmons. It was like $3, I think. And I really like it because it's like a really good base for other um, lip products that I may ooh, that I may use. And I just really like it. Like I don't have to keep reapplying it throughout the day. Um, as far as other lip balms, I really like my MAC lip conditioner. This is a D squared one. This one is called Fuchsia Fix. I got Fuchsia Fix from AllCosmeticsWholesale.com a while ago. Um, I use it when I just want a little bit of color and without like any gloss because it does leave like a nice little shine on your lips. Um, I use like Carmex, um, a lot. This one is like almost gone. I have like a couple backup Carmex. Is this be... I think Carmex is like a dollar twenty nine. Not, I don't remember. But I like Carmex a lot because I don't have to touch touch it to like put it on my lips and rub it in. I also really like Blistex, especially for the winter time. This is like my winter time remedy when my lips get really really dry in the winter time. Um, and Blistex, you can find it ranges. It depends on where you get it from. You can either get it for like a dollar from your local beauty supply store, between like a dollar and two dollars. They actually have like a jar that's slightly taller than that one, but that's just the one that I always see. Um, I only have two lip scrubs, but I prefer the Lush Mint Julep lip scrub versus the Corez one. For one, this one is cheaper than the Corez one. And the Corez one, I don't think it works as well, so I definitely prefer this one. As far as lip pencils, I only have a few favorite lip pencils. My favorite, like, really, really bright one is the Makeup Forever 16C. This retails for about $17. Also, my favorite red one, because I have a couple, I have like an NYX one, a couple other brands, is my MAC Cherry uh, lip liner. I prefer it because it's less, it's more smooth, it's sm not more smooth, it's smoother than all of my other um, lip liner, my red lip liners. And it's not even like a red red, but it's a good red, it's like a good neutral red that you can wear with like so many other things. And one of my favorite lip liners is MAC Spice. I used to use um, HodgePodge. Hodge hodgepodge a lot um but it's like too brown so this is like a good lip liner if you're one of those people that prefer pinky nudes and i also have a favorite nyx one i think it's called brown cafe but i can never find it like because i have so many like brown lip liners it's not even funny i don't remember but i think it's called brown cafe it is more brown than the spice one um as far as lipsticks um I go in categories. I'll say like my neutral ones, my pink ones, pink slash bright ones, red and coral. Um, there are definitely other colors you can wear purple. Um, but these are just the ones I'm going to talk about. Now, one, two, three, four. Four favorite, um, new, actually five because I like this one too. Um, one of them, this is Empowered. This came out with that collection where it was like, um, I don't remember what it's called. I was like, I want to say it's like a multicultural collection. Like they had like like different like women of different colors, um, and they were all like earth tone colors. Though, I want to say, and Powered is like a brown, brownie nude. Um, yeah. Sometimes, depending on what like what I use on my face, it may look too brown a little bit. I have it on now, but I have like a little bit of a pink gloss on top, so it looks okay. Um, also, oh, the Empower is a satin. This is one of the few satins I like besides this one that I'm going to talk about. This one is Cherish. I'm not really a big fan of satins finishes. Um, they seem to be dry. And this is it compared. As you can see, this one is like way more brown. This one seems to have like an orangey, peachy undertone to me. Not quite red, but like more of an orange peach. Um, okay, let's talk about Cherish. Also, Half and Half, which is an amplified. And to me, Half and Half looks a lot like Blankety, which is also one of my favorite ones. I This is like my second ones of these because I've used them so much. But Half and Half, I definitely prefer more than Blankety. It has more pink in it. And I guess that's why I think I prefer nudes that have um, more pink in it. 
and then the last one well it's not really a nude nude is more of a pink but it's cream cup i think a lot of people like cream cup um i love it definitely okay as far as oranges slash corals or whatever you want to call it what are these that is a red okay chatterbox chatterbox is a bright coral it has a lot of pink in it i, I guess maybe i just like pink i don't know um ravishing Ugh. ravishing is definitely more orange um this one is a cream sheen a lot of my lipsticks are either cream sheens amplifieds I do have a few satins, but those are the ones that I prefer. Cream cheese, amplified, amplified creams. They seem to be more moisturizing to my lips. Uh, I really don't like mattes. I bought like two matte lipsticks by mistake, and I don't like returning stuff. But also Toxic Shell. Toxic Shell is a bright coral, and it is a satin. Yeah. Um, this one is pretty dry, so what I do is I dab it on first, because I don't just do that, because it can like show every crack in your lips. Um... But this is like a really, really, really bright coral. This came from the Venomous Villains collection last year. As far as reds, I have two favorite reds. This also came from the Venomous Villains. And this is an Amplify. And this is Heartless. This is kind of like a deeper red. It has a blue base. So if you wear it, your teeth will look whiter. And then Cockney, which is a luster, surprisingly. This is also a blue red. But it's just if you just want like a splash of color. It's not going to be full on color, but just a splash of color. And that's why I like it. Even though I don't really prefer um, luster textures, they definitely um, are very moisturizing for your lips. Now, as far as like pinks and brighter lip ones, I really like Viva Gaga. I have two of these. And as you can see, it's like a darker pink lip gloss or some, something on it I don't know but I really like this one this one is a luster and I think that you can probably still get them at your local CCO which for those of you who don't know what that is that's a cosmetic company outlet also Radi Radiachi Radiachio I don't know how to pronounce it but I don't even think this is a permanent one I think it's like a limited edition color and this is like a purpley pink to me it's kind of the luster version of Up the Amp which is also on here See, yeah, I think they are pretty similar. Yeah, these are pretty similar. Yeah, but this is like the luster version of Up the Amp. Also, I have um, Violetta, which is a permanent color at the Pro Store. Violetta is like a deeper version of Up the Amp. Makeup Forever, number 36. I wish Makeup Forever just had names, because I can remember names, but I can remember numbers. Underworld. Which is like an iridescent up the amp. I guess you can, guys can like kind of see the trend of what I like. Um, and Spitfire, which is like a satin version of up the amp to me. It's a little bit deeper though. Now, as far as lip glosses. Um, wow, it's like a couple. I like Hush Hush Rose by MAC. Pink. I like Wildly Refined. This came out with the fabulous felines collection which is this is like a, a, a light apricot color maybe also i like wicked ways from venomous villains this is a red i like what is this this is a dazzle glass passing fancy this came out with that tartan tail collection i think i really really love my maybelline one i want to say this is oh this is pink sorbet pink sorbet I really, really love my Lancome Juicy Tube. This one is Frost Yourself. Oh, and then my two NYX ones. I think mostly I like them because of the smell that they give off. But this one is Smoky Look. And then this one is called Natural. They, um, they're very similar colors. Um, This one is more pink, though. Also, what is this one? This one is Revenge is Sweet from the Venomous Villains Collection. And Hot House from the Venomous Villains Collection. So as you can see, that's what type of person I am. Those are the type of colors I like as far as lip colors, lip products. I mean, there are more that I can probably talk about, but then that will run this video over too long. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos that I've been posting. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what videos you want to see. Bye!